Well, as we begin the most patriotic week of the year, an emailer to our Your Stories inbox wants to know why the most the Museum of Science and Technology in Armory Square stopped flying the American flag. In fact, the flag hasn't flown in months, so News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan called the museum president, who says it was, in fact, her decision, and she explains why it makes sense. Our primary focus is the exhibits on the inside, but the outside means just as much to us. Running a museum in a century-old armory makes most President Lauren Cochin feel both pride and pressure. We are honored to be in this building, and we actually believe it's our responsibility to maintain it for the entire community. The responsibility comes with watchful neighbors who haven't seen the American flag fly in months. The winter is pretty rough on it, and last April, this past April, it was tattered, so we took it down, and, um, and normally we would just replace it. A normal cost of $2,000 between buying the new Old Glory and renting a lift to hang it. Two grand that coach and decided not to waste on this flag pole. Could this be original armory flag pole? Yeah, it could be. In such bad condition, the pole needs replacing too. And the whole thing is rusted, but you can see at the base, um, it's even starting to erode a little bit. To the tune of another $5,000 at least. Money she's committed to spending once she has room in her tight budget. If there was a company or, or a person who was interested in helping us fund it, it would just speed up the process for us significantly. In the meantime, the museum will show patriotism in other ways. We um, always have free admission for active military and for veterans. I mean, we are really committed to our community, and I think the flag is a nice representation of that. To them, that's what matters most. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And we're told the most president has reached out to her partners at the city of Syracuse and the downtown committee to see if they can help.